In this video, I'm going to show you the Media Explorer in Reaper. So this is part three of the Media Explorer. Now we could also right click the file and insert it into the project here, insert it based on a time selection. Let's create a time selection down here, make a new track and right click this file, choose to insert it into the time selection, stretching it and looping it to fit. And that puts it right here, time stretched based on the time selection we created. Or we can insert it on a new track, like we did before, or insert it into a sample player. Let's try out a different sample. Let's try this one. We could right click it, insert it into sample player, and choose to do it on a new track. And what that's going to do is it creates a new track with Resample-O-Matic 5000 as a plugin on this track. We could play it. Or we could trigger it from MIDI. Let's close this, put the track into record with it set up to MIDI, and we could open up the virtual keyboard right down here and play it from our computer keyboard or our MIDI keyboard if we have one. So we could trigger it from MIDI that easily. And we could also replace the sample the same way. Let's say we wanted to use this one. Just right click it, go to insert into sample player, but this time choose reuse active sample player. That's going to replace the previous one so we could play it the same way. So we could reuse the same sample player but using different samples. We could also replace any of our samples as audio. Right now, I have some kick and snare samples. Let's say we wanted to replace the snare. We could choose it, open up the Media Explorer. Let's go to our snares and choose one. Let's say we like this one. Just right click it, insert into selected media items and we could choose to insert it as a new take. Now it shows up right there as a new take. This take, or this take. Or we could choose them all, double click the track, right click the audio, insert into selected media items, and then replace the media source completely, either by stretching it or not. Let's choose this one. Now replace the snare in the whole song. Before and after. And we could also change our rate and our pitch right here. Let's say we like this snare, but we want to make it more high pitched. Bring it up here, just the rate to be longer or shorter, and replace it the same way. Right click, insert it in selected media items, and replace it right here. And it replaces it along with the pitch and the rate changed. Of course, we could do the same thing on a new track. We could just choose a different loop, like this one, adjust the pitch and the rate, and import it to a new track like this, and drop it. And now it's imported with that pitch change and the rate change. Now we could also just import portions of our audio. Let's go back to our drum loops and let's choose this one. 
Let's say we just wanted to import the first half of the loop. Let's have it locked to the tempo. And we could drag our cursor right here. And just have it choose this portion of the loop. We could trim it like this. Make sure it loops. And then just drag in from here to a new track, either here or down here. Now it just imported that portion of the file. And we can stretch it out by trimming it. And it just loops that portion we brought in, not the whole loop. So as you can tell, the Media Explorer is very flexible for importing our sounds, whether it be samples, loops, or even video. As we could stretch it, change the pitch, the rate, or import it to a sample player, or just place it in different sections of our song. So that's pretty much it. That's the Media Explorer in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.